there. Running is so up and down, I think. Uh, one day I'll go out and feel amazing on a run and just be crushing it and I'll get done and just feel so like, uh, I don't know, just in tune with God, God and like knowing that uh, this is what I was born to do or, you know, this is what God wants me to do. And then some days you go out for a run and it feels like each step you're feeling worse and worse. Um, and so, you know, on days like that, honestly, I just got to say a couple prayers the whole way and uh, just know uh, it will be over eventually. Um, and even you have races like that where uh, you might go out and have a perfect day and then you might have races where maybe you come down with sickness before the race and uh, that you put a lot of um, worth into that race and I, don't, I think you really got to understand that uh, you're bigger than one race and that God is not is going it has bigger plans for you than one uh, season in your life really I think even and so that's definitely a parallel between life and running um, I guess running isn't as, you know, eventually I'll have to find something else to do other than running whenever my knees go out or something. But, uh, you know, I really think that I've been blessed to be able to, um, you know, I think try and bring glory back to God through my running. And so, you know, yeah, I think there's definitely a lot of parallels between life and running. Being mentally tough before the race, getting prepared, um, just praying really helps me in the team huddle focus. And uh, no, I'm not just running for myself and my teammate, but for uh, God too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like a different language for so many people. How does yeah. that work? Kind of explain to folks that the way that you run can honor God and can worship Him in so many good ways. Yeah, just thinking about before, um, uh, it definitely calms me down, knowing that uh, as long as I'm uh, getting I'm close to God, He'll help me through it, He'll help me through the race, run my best, and be with my teammates. And even if we don't run the times we're hopeful, uh, we're hoping for, um, uh, He's still. There with us. FCA uh, really helped kind of like strengthen my uh, faith because like uh, early on in high school I got kind of I was kind of far away from God you know he was kind of like on the back burner and you know my mom told me about this guy that had this program at my school and so you know I went and then the Lord kind of you know was bringing me close to him and you know I finally got my Bible out and I got a devotion book and I started doing those and it helped me really get closer to God and just you know being in FCA with other like athletes you know that are around you you know, it really shows you that, you know, God uses all of us to help, you know, bring more Christians and, you know, bring even non-Christians to become followers because, you know, the pandemic, I really, really showed, it kind of really separated all of us, you know. It had you at your home, in your room, and it really separated all of us, you know, and it took FCA away. And, you know, the pandemic, in a way, could have, could have had you uh, get a little farther away from God. Mm -hmm. But for me, it kind of helped me bring me closer because, you know, I made it, you know, a daily thing to do my Bible time, do my devotion, you know, worship the Lord, and I just kept on praying all the time, you know, say, Lord, keep me, you know, daily devotional because, you know, if you're close to God, I really think He blesses you in multiple ways.